A couple of days ago, we were looking for this place, Urban Cup, and couldn't find it. We did find a couple of other places that uh, would be great locations to shoot, but we really wanted to try this one, and it was nowhere to be found until today. Hey, did you find a place to put the bike? Yep. Next to this place. Oh, okay. You know, it took us three outings to find Urban Cup Coffee. I'm not sure exactly why, but one time we wound up in another city. The second time we looked up and down the street and couldn't find it. I uh, looked on Google Map, wasn't there. And finally, finally today, we located the place. And I'm glad we did, it's really nice. This will make a great location for shooting some old guys talk shit videos. It's good. I hope you'll stay tuned for those. The first pictures that I saw of this place, I was on um, the internet and I was just looking on Google Maps and I saw the, the shot of the front of it and there were some reviews and some photos. One of the reviews said that you know, they came in here and they were disappointed because it wasn't finished, you know. Well, they were just starting up. It was like their soft opening. And uh, they said the picture frames didn't have pictures in them. And I was thinking, you know, you can't think of something better to complain about than that. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's not really, uh, not really that good a thing to complain about. And the guys obviously weren't open. You know, they were just soft open. Yeah, now it looks, it looks finished. Every place that we that we filmed in the last video, you ate. The first time that we looked for this place, yeah, we went, we went all too the, far. Went to San Marcelino. Yeah. Ask him about the music. Yeah, most of you know, most, that's the problem that you know, most of the places you go around here, you have a problem with music noise. The place always loud. Yeah, always loud. I like it because it's, it's not as um, loud and cozy. Cozy, yeah, it's more cozy. Where, um, where do you think we ought to go shoot next? You got any ideas? Not yet. Yeah, me too. I've been kind of, the rainy season threw me off. It's getting dark outside because it knocked us out of so many days of shooting. Mm, good coffee. I had the coffee Americano with milk and they gave me, gave me real milk. Yeah, I think that, I think that, uh, that's the thing that I really hate about all this new equipment, new gear and stuff, is so much of it has built-in batteries. You know, I've really avoided built-in batteries. That Osmo is the only thing I think that we've got that's got built-in batteries. Yeah, the Osmo One. It did just what I thought. The battery went bad before the device went bad. I mean, that just, it's ridiculous. You know, it, this one is not a built-in. No, that, uh, the four, the three and the four use the same battery set. Oh. So you can, you know, if you have the, the five that just came out has a different battery set. Yeah, I think, I think that uh, it might be worth it for me to go ahead and get my uh, little uh, Osmo fixed. I think it was 3,000 or 4,000 to fix it. 2,000 for the battery and 1,000 labor, I think. I think sticking with the three or the four is a good idea. They're really not cheap, uh, cheap enough now. They're only um, a couple of thousand cheaper than the four, and I think they, you know, they need to be about five thousand cheaper than the four to be worth it. I like the picture from the from the Osmo One. 
I've seen video from the Osmo <laughs> too. I don't like the angle that it shoots. The lens is a little bit, uh, a little bit too wide on the two. It curves. It curves a little bit, and it just doesn't doesn't look doesn't look right. The one I think has a really good image. You know, I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah. This one is only bad if you get toward the edge of the frame, and then it'll you know kind of bow your face out and stuff. But it's a since it's 4K. You can, yeah, you can trim it off and, and bring everybody in where they look like they're closer in and they, you know, it looks okay. I think the whole series of little pocket action cameras and, and the pocket Osmos are pretty good. I, I, I don't want the three. I'm just, you know, every time you hear something about it, you know, somebody's screen doesn't work or, you know, they quit, you know, quit working. Is the problem with it? Well, it's a swivel screen, you know. And so they either, you know, quit turning off when you turn them straight, or you know, something happens to them. But you see a lot of a lot of articles on on YouTube and reviews and things that uh, where they've had screen problems. The other thing I don't like about it is it doesn't have interchangeable batteries. Why why don't they ever learn? You know, that's that's why I've always stayed with those those Fayutech gimbals is because they all have removable batteries and they're batteries you can just buy anywhere. And they, la you know, they last a long time. The batteries last, you know, you, gimbals just don't use much battery, really. And so they last a long time. That was the only disappointing thing about the Osmo One. Otherwise, I think it's pretty good. Actually, I think it's great. I like, I like the size. I, I don't like the way the new one you have things you have to plug in the bottom extra battery pack and all that stuff. I don't like that. I like it, you know, it's just the little simple thing that you can just drop in your pocket. I look at this uh, little screen, I think, wow, and I'm really a handsome guy. There should, probably should be a, a like an extra fee for putting me on YouTube. Surcharge. That's what I think. This is Raya, the Text Fun OBG channel, saying thank you all for watching. Yeah, and you, you wonder why Rhea doesn't have any audio in this video is because she plugged the audio into the earphone jack. Thanks for watching. <laughs>